Hello, Big Show nerds. Once again, I am Dustin. These are your nerd news headlines back in our regularly scheduled setup. Let's jump into TV news, and first we are talking Batwoman. Executive producer Sarah Schechter told The Wrap that Batman, as far as the Batwoman series is concerned, is, quote, off limits for the foreseeable future, unquote. So it would seem they're going to be treating the Caped Crusader much like they do over on the Titans series on the DC Universe app, by mentioning him and then avoiding showing him at all costs. Schechter also spoke on the situation in her version of the fictional city that causes a need for Batwoman to exist, and it seems that in their version of the story, Batman has gone missing in action for approximately three years. Uh, whether or not this is a voluntary uh, missing in action, or if he's been disposed of by a villain is kind of unclear, though either way kind of seems interesting, and we will just have to wait and see how it plays out. Next, Terry Gillum fans rejoice! Time Bandits, one of the filmmaker's more notable movies, is getting its own TV series. Or at least a pilot. Uh, the pilot is set to go over to Apple and is going to be helmed by Taika Waititi, who will be the writer and director for the pilot. Set to executive produce is Terry Gilliam himself, as well as Taika Waititi, and they will be joined by Dan Halstead. So that does it for TV news. Now we're going to kick over to movie news. And first we're talking about Captain Marvel, who is proving that a boycott from a small faction of internet haters is not enough to stop the Disney machine. Brie Larson, it would seem, is taking this movie pretty far past expectations, coming in at $455 million opening weekend worldwide. Captain Marvel is officially the second largest opening weekend for a superhero movie ever. For an in-depth and spoiler-rich review of the movie, you can join me on my channel, Generally Nerdy, right here on YouTube. But that's all we've got there. Next up, Fox is adapting Eisner Award-winning comic book, Mouse Guard, into a movie. And they have cast Andy Serkis and Thomas Brody Sangster to be two of the leads in the movie. Uh, if you don't know who Andy Serkis is, then you likely live under a rock and I would like to welcome you into the 21st century, especially 21st century nerd culture. However, Thomas Brody Sangster likely is not a household name. So, if you don't know who he is, you will know that he was Peter Pan in the TV series Once Upon a Time. He also played Liam Neeson's son in Love Actually. In the movie, Circus will be playing Midnight, the villain of the story, and Brody Sangster will be playing Liam, who is a new, young member of the Mouse Guard. And our final bit of news in movies is from Collider. They are reporting that the rest of the roster of would-be villains turned reluctant heroes over on the Suicide Squad reboot movie, helmed by James Gunn, has been released. And reportedly, the characters that are going to be joining Margot Robbie as Har Harley Quinn and Idris Elba as Deadshot are as follows. We have have Ratcheter, King Shark, Mr. Polka Dot, and Peacemaker. Casting for them has not been officially announced just yet, though rumor has it that Dave Bautista, who plays Drax over on Guardians of the Galaxy, and is a WWE superstar, uh, he is being eyed to play the Peacemaker. That does it for this episode of Headlines, nerds. For more in-depth conversation on all of these nerdy bits, plus more, and Comic-Con coverage, and all of the things, then check out my channel right here on YouTube, Generally Nerdy. But don't forget to like, subscribe, and share all of the Big Show Entertainment Media platforms, and tune in next time, guys, for the latest in the nerd world.